first started teaching a long time ago, I found that the students could not understand the book, understand the terms in the book. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and explain to you some techniques I have used that works well to teach my students the science vocabulary. The first thing and most important thing to get from this short video is the following. I spoke to the head of the reading department about this issue once. She informed me that teaching science, you have as many new terms to learn in the course of a year as the foreign language teacher does. So you need to keep in mind when teaching science, you're basically teaching a foreign language. That's not including the math, the science itself. You are basically the kindergarten teacher to your students. Vocabulary is a very difficult thing to, for your students to learn, and I'm going to go over a few techniques. I took down notes today so I wouldn't forget. The first way to teach it is flashcards. Have your students, the old-fashioned way, write out flashcards. The term on the front, the definition on the back, and have them draw a picture of what it is. That being said, what a lot of people do is do one set of flashcards. Have colored flashcards and have white ones. Have the students do the terms out twice. I know this seems repetitive, but by the time the students have finished doing the flashcards, they will have already learned the terms. When they're done with the flashcards, put them in two piles. The white ones in one pile, the colored ones in the other. Take, take the ones with the terms and flip the colored ones over with the definitions. Have them line them up. It's best to do this at night before you go to bed. They have done studies and they find that you'll learn it a lot better if you're matching the flashcards. The next thing you can do with your students is have them take their iPhones. Have them record the terms in their own voice. When you listen to your voice, that instead of someone else's, it, it really upsets your brain. And you'd be amazed at how much more you listen to your own voice than you do someone else's. Latin terms. When I get back home, I'm in Fort Lauderdale right now. When I get back home, I am going to post a sheet with all the Latin prefixes. Have your students learn the Latin prefixes. I made my poor daughter when she was in high school take Latin for four years. I still don't think she's forgiven me but it was a tremendous help to her in the upper science classes, having a good background in Latin. My vet went to school in the, I think it was the Puerto, um, Puerto Rico. I said, how could you do it, um, Dr. Bill? You really don't speak Spanish well. He said, because so much of the terms were in Latin, he was able to get through the courses. I cannot tell you how important it is to have word walls done up. They're pain in the neck. You can even have your students do it. Teachers Pay Teachers has a lot of word walls that you can buy. Even though your students don't know that they're seeing the words, it's a big help to them to see it. When I was in school, what I would do, some of my advanced A and P classes, there was so much memorization. I actually took soap and wrote the words and put them in the shower. So when I was taking a shower, I would see the 12 cranial nerves. I would see the muscle. It's, I don't expect you to have your students write on their walls at home, but it's a help. Have them write little post-it notes. I have post-it notes all over my dashboard on my car. If you have word walls up on the wall, it is a big help. The students learn the terms without even realizing that they are learning them. Old fashioned hangman. You um you write you put on the board a hangman and then you write the terms you write little slashes underneath and have the students guess what word it is. Um bingo is wonderful. And there's several ways you can play bingo. Play it the old fashioned way you hand out the cards to the students. You could even have the students make the cards up. I really would remember I would really recommend that you do that. Have your students write out the cards and then cut, make a photocopy one and then call it out and have them 
exit out like you do in the Senior Citizen Center. Another thing you can do is take the bingo sheet and get small white pieces of paper and put it on top of each one of the blocks. Have two of the same item and have the students play memory game. The last thing that you can do to have your students learn the vocabulary words, and I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I've been told by some special ed teachers it was fine, others said it wasn't, is Scrabble. Have the students make their own Scrabble pages. Get large grid paper with large blocks and have them write the terms in it themselves then have them pass. This is a good thing to do on a day that you have like 15, 20 minutes to kill. The problem with this is a lot of the special ed students with dyslexia have trouble and you're teaching it to them backwards and upside down. Again, that's, that's totally up to you. You can also go online and get crossword puzzles and build your own. If you have any other ideas on how to teach vocabulary, please let me know. Thank you for viewing. And I thought for once you might like to see me in a dress, not covered with horse manure. Thank you again. Stay safe. And please, if you have any other ways to teach vocabulary that is fun, please put the comments below to help everybody else. Thank you and stay safe.